Hello everybody, big match now. We've got Danton and his Necromantic versus that there Phil and his Nurgle. Two top teams going vying for the uh, buy spots, really. Both of these teams could make top three. Um, good teams, good coaches. We've got only two guard. The bad thing about Danton's team is only two guard. No strength on his wolves, but he does have tackle on both his whites. Which is, uh, which is pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty nice having tackle on both of them. One's tackle pom. And uh, it, what's bizarre about that there, Phil, is his team isn't really like a juggernaut, right? You'd expect Nurgle doing well in Division 1 to have a bunch of claw. He's got no claw at all. He's just like an orc team, really. Really, this could just this would just be an orc team, right? He's got some tackle. He's got some block and some guard. It's barely a Nurgle team at all, really. It's basically just an orc team. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Rackler for the edge teams. Tackle Mighty. Blood Sure Hands. So, it's solid. It's solid, but unspectacular. There you go. So, yeah, interesting. Well, two removals was what was one a Kaz region? No, just one removal. Okay, I just couldn't see. It's a stun. I didn't think it was two removals. I thought it was, I must have missed it. So one removal, one stun. Not a terrible LOS. And not to over Danton either, is it still in it? But can't really pick anybody off with either the uh, Pommer or a Wolf. And this is kind of the problem with with Necro, right? If if it's like this, you know, it's not easy. They've got to try and get Wolf hits in if they can, and Fowls in if they can. But they don't have a lot of strength. They don't have a lot of guard. So it's, it can be tricky for them to try and like get the ball rolling versus heavy teams. And while there's no claw, it's still a heavy team, isn't it? It's, it's got the it's got the beast and Urgle there, so it's like an orc team with a troll. You'll do nothing. Problem now is if he if he like strands a Nurgle warrior, he'll get picked off by a wolf. So he's gonna want to try and keep everything pretty compact. I think standing there would have been like better for pitch control and stuff. But then he opens himself up to the wolf hit, right? So he's he's having to play narrower to protect against that. Good play. A rarely a rarely said thing on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I, I think it's kind of like easier to point out things that are more likely to have been, in, you know, more likely improvable things, if you know what I mean, than like things that are fine. There's no, do you know what I mean? There's no point saying, oh, this is good, this is good every turn, is there? Because, again, in Division 1 or in Chalice, you kind of expect most of the moves to be good, don't you? So most of the moves in most of the games will be good. Well, that was interesting because that was like one of the, maybe one of the more subtle things is that you give up a better square to protect against the wolf. Oh. Cheeky Kaz. Gets the regen, doesn't care too much about it, of course, because uh, it was only badly hurt, but still better to have it for the match than not, obviously. Big stupid. Yeah, I was wondering if he'd go for the uh, fleshy or for the wolf. Steam straight into the wolf for the mighty blow hit. I didn't hate going for this this guy because you know he probably stands firm and you could get like a four assist foul on him or something if you wanted. So there was, there was a chance of going for the fleshy there. This guy is now isolated over here a bit. I 
wonder if we wish if we shall see fleshy block and then wolf blitz. Nope. It's gone straight back at the uh, the mighty blow pesticle. This is a bit rowdy, isn't it? Gets the pile, but very exposed to a foul. Gets a Kaz. <laughs> and it's a perm and he regens. Whoa. Big regen. Gets the pow there. I'd have made that block first. See what happens. And then if you follow, then you get the uh, you get the wolf blitz there, which is pretty nice, isn't it? But uh, this is pretty rowdy. Like this is this is pretty rowdy. This pile. <laughs> because you're gonna knock everything down. There's a chance he knocks everything down. Which he does, <laughs> and then he can mighty blow that uh, that zombie as well. Wow! Reroll comes in for the uh, beast of Nurgle. Well, that's interesting. Oh, he's blitzing the wolf. Oh man! I, I would have blitzed. I would have blitzed the uh, zombie here and done a big foul. Like ultimately it's only one more assist, but it still would have. <laughs> the assist doesn't matter at all. Like it's okay, but I mean this is like uh, this was non non tackle, right? Hitting a bodger with sidestep, I wouldn't have bothered. Personally, wow, dub skulls, frenzy trap blitz gets the pow, but inevitably sticks himself onto a uh, onto a beast. Now there's a gaping hole in the middle, isn't there? Gaping hole through the middle here for a. Uh, that there, Phil, to switch sides on a little bit. Ah, well, not not so much if he doesn't knock anybody over. <laughs> That's really nice, isn't it? Gets the pow. Faces the other wolf. A wonderful bit of beasting. Oof. He does have a lot of mighty blow, doesn't he, to be fair? And pays off there. Regen fails. Because there is, there is a decent amount of mighty blow on the Nurgle team. the uphill. Very necro play. <laughs> but I mean now he's down men so it's kind of inevitable. They're, they're, I mean they're a funny old team necro right? If, they, if they're men up and they get in a dominant position they're amazing because they just get a tee off on you completely. But um, but if they're behind it's really, it really sucks for them because they haven't got the strength of the guard to make the hits. Yeah, beasting, beasting. So we still got the a really good opportunity to get forward here because these three are isolated. Really bad. These three being all all over here. Him him just running away is kind of fine, right? Because he can recover a bit. But these three all over here is pretty bad. I wonder if these can double GFI to Blitz. It's probably alright actually. It's, 
probably an alright play. This is the boring safe play, obviously. <laughs> but I wonder if it was, if, you know, if blitzing him, double GFI blitz, might have been alright. get the uh, fleshy in contact right with the ball. I hate, I hate this. I hate, I hate him not being the one who makes the blitz. I think the, uh, the fleshy has to be the one that makes the blitz there to stand in front and you know base the ball with Stanford. Uh, no, I like, I like the 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 beast was on both walls, wasn't he? I quite like that. I quite like getting them because you can't really stop the walls going anywhere, right? Eight times out of nine, they, they dodge away. So, get the beast on them. Lord of armor breaks. Who needs claw? I mean, he is, but he's done his job, right? The old four plus. He's going for the double GFIs. Yeah, boy. He's not that isolated, is he, Pogla? <laughs> Don't hit him. Okay, good. I was, I thought he was gonna hit. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess dodging does something. It's a four two two with a loan. It's not that. It's not that hard to do. And you know, it could have easily you could have easily stopped one or both of the wolves dodging away last turn. I liked it. Uh, you know, if it had been like a few turns earlier, it would have been bad because obviously now he's kind of recovered a bit. So if it had been a couple of turns ago, maybe it would have been a bad move to isolate the beast. But situationally, it's a lot of players up. He could afford it. He's gonna have to try and pow here. Is he? He's just gonna blitz with a, he's just gonna blitz with a carrier and try and pow. Is that the play? Or dodge, or like not dodge, hand off, double GFI. He could hand off double GFI, or he could try to pow. Which will he do? He's gonna hand off double GFI. So pretty good drive from that there, Phil. Made a bunch of removals, protected his players pretty well. The only uh, wolf hits were like bad wolf hits, basically. Like there was there was one chance to get a good wolf hit in, um, but instead his killer got pommed and removed. So you know, not much you can do about that. Can't stop them hitting everybody. Move it, lots with sidestep. Another frenzy hit. It's not terrible, is it? There should be a, there should be a one turn attempt here. Yeah, he's got no reroll though. He hasn't got a reroll. So again, if it's playoffs, you attempt the one turn here, I guess. With the, without the reroll, there's no him for just punching things. He's only got one reserve as well. Looks like we are going for this, the one turn here. Blitzing in from the corner, I guess. And then sidestepping, sidestepping up to here. But then, why are these empty? Oh, just blocking. Wait. 
Or blocking him into there. Do it without the throw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect, because then he keeps the... Wait, wait, you push? What, what did you push for? Wait, what did, what did you push him into the... F what? You could have pushed him here. Literally gave up the push. Oh, maybe he wanted to power him. Like, it literally doesn't matter, because he's got, he's got multiple ways to get the third push anyway. But it seems weird to not just take the push. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it must have been a misclick. Did he still have it there? One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI, do it at a five plus. Uh, double GFI and a five plus dodge. Oh, plus, you could have blitzed, right? You could blitz for the push. You could still have blitzed for the push, but it was a good idea. He did the right idea. If he'd taken the extra push there, then he could have blocked with either one of these two and uh, got the third push. And then he could have blitzed. Blitzed this guy at the score. But I guess he didn't want to go for the one turn like without blitzing with the wolf, right? It's low odds. Like, I, I think not going for the one turn at all was totally viable and just trying to pom and claw. Because making those dodges and GFIs or 1D blocks without a reroll is pretty dodgy, isn't it? It's funny because, like, it's it's kind of worse to do it that way, you know, to try and get the wolf blocks. But the same by the same token, if the wolf blocks work, it is better because then you get to blitz through. With the like, getting to blitz through the back line is so much better than dodging. That it probably is worth reducing your chances to get the pushes a little bit. But then with a the tight LOS, you don't even have to. Yeah, the tight LOS probably took away any any doubt at all because he, he could power on the first hit. Mmm. Super interesting. Not if Blood Bowl 3 was a good game, could practice one turns on it. But it isn't. P. Diddy. But still, in this, isn't he, uh, Danton? He's, he's lost the fleshy, which sucks. But still got 11 players. Just down in quality. But um, that there fell down a Pestigor as well, so down a little bit. We could still see a 1 1 draw. And this is one of the situations where you probably like will, you know, endanger your players a bit now to go for this draw because it's just so it's just so tight. This division is so tight. Like uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not really taking any game easy. I think. I think every game you've really got to give 110%. Oof. In pretty much every game because it's just so easy to lose to anybody. It's so easy to lose any game. Snake pickup doesn't really matter, right? It's so deep. Nurgle aren't really a pressuring team like that anyway, so it's not changing anything about how this drive goes, which is the Nurgle trying to strength and guard bully the uh, Necro. Is it four guard to two because of the region? And more strength. Quite a bit more strength when you think about blitzing. Ah, oh, yeah, 
Yes, we get the uh, patented fleshy push blitz. Essential tactic to learn for uh, necro coaches. I mean, you might say the blitz and dodge away is more essential, but still, that's what you should be trying to do is blitz into fleshies and, you know, when you can. This guy's very exposed, and he? Gets the four plus off. To protect that guy. If I had been a put no one on, I was thinking there might have been some kind of crazy chain on, but you couldn't have gotten these files. And it wouldn't achieve much anyway. So just bang, just bang some guys. I wonder if blitzing with a beast is a good play here. No. I don't know what I was thinking. If you could have powered the, you probably should have blitzed with the rotter, right? Because if you can pow, if you can pow that fleshy, then you can put the beast in that square. Is really nice. But then I guess you just get served instantly. <laughs> it's not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that nice. You get served instantly. Disregard. You can still get served instantly. No guard protecting it. So 1-1. One, one. In fact, you can hit here probably. This should be an instant surf. Oh, he's, he, he can't block. I like going for this surf. Because it's like... It's not the best odds. But you're kind of up against it, right? With, with the way with the way the teams are, the way the match has gone, you're up against the wall. You've got to do something to try and win. So I quite like going for that surf, even if it's not the more sensible surf. Gets a lovely Kaz there. Shame he didn't kill it. Big shame he didn't kill the tackle mighty blow. I'm totally unbiased, of course. He's won the sideline here. Getting collapsed up in on a bit, but he does have walls. Which means that uh, that there, Phil's got to be very careful about how he f plays the sideline. Whoa! Could you've got this guy in here without the blitz? Oh, it's, it's stand firm anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, are you all right? Are you all right, Goliath? And it's annoying that, isn't it? Because you'd really want them to like get in here or something, but then you run the risk of just getting surfed, or your beast getting surfed. So it's tricky. But yeah, they've got this the diagonal formation to prevent surfs. Gets to Wolf Blitz, finally. Blood Bowl 3 is indeed shite, yep. Yep. Oh wow, rerolls the foul appearance. I think I would have uh, kept my uh, kept my reroll for later there, with only two left. But again, he's getting a big gang foul as well, isn't he? He's, it's letting him move over here totally safely and get a big gang foul. So it could be a big payoff for this reroll. And it is. Glorious. Can't argue with that, can you? Reroll for a Nurgle Warrior. A very good trade. Now it's looking pretty grim for the Nurgle down loads of players. No. 
Eight players plus the beast. The beast is like almost out of it. try and like seal the edge a little bit four plus beast four and gfi so he can't get served and another gfi flip me some dice rolled on the beast no follow here Another removal. Whoa. Looking pretty decent for Danton here, isn't it? Looking like a draw. Looking like he'll get the job done, but obviously can't push for the win. Just not possible. Sidestep to there, yeah. To stop whacking a Nurgle warrior in there. Another two GFIs to tag the ghoul. Are they just going to go back? Oh, that's brilliant. I mean, that is brilliant. It totally holds the centre for the reverse. Like, I think he probably had to make one GFI to, like, get to here. No, that's no GFIs, is it? So he probably could have just gone back to here, and that's kind of all right. That, or he, you know, here or here kind of holds the centre well enough. And obviously this could have really not paid off. If he'd failed either of those two, there's a gaping hole. But, um, wow, fails the one in nine. Feels the one in nine not looking so good for Danton anymore. <laughs> Maybe he should have moved this guy up first, just not care about blitzing with him. Gets the rustle. Some first notch rustling. Got the shoe hands to pick up. He follows, he hasn't got the beast activation, which he doesn't really want anyway, so. I wouldn't have hated the following up. But I guess this way it stops the wolf getting out easily, doesn't it? If he'd followed the wolf would have had a 3 plus there, so by not following the wolf's a 4-3. Oh, Kaz. Sticks. What is it? Badly hurt. Boo. Sad. Sad that these two, uh, these two unregened were just badly hurt. <laughs> could have, uh, could have made my life easier. <laughs> oh, we got to reroll that, eh? No, oh my God. Well, still in range, isn't he? So the wolf's still in range. But you just go back and foul him? I think you just foul him, right? I think I would have... Uh... It's him. I think if, could this, if this guy could have assisted for a reach for an assist, I would probably just assisted with the uh, noble warrior and foul this guy. I mean, think you you could just stand here, I guess, couldn't you? you? Don't have to foul him. Just 
stand there to put or geify there. Maybe geifying here was was the best play. One, two, three, and then just geify. And then he's got a four three without tackle. To get you. One, two, three, four, five. He could geify. Oh he can't score anyway. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. One, two, three, four, five. Geify hit him. And then GFI again, so he can't score whatever happens. All of that was completely irrelevant. Could have fouled the ghoul. Wouldn't have minded fouling the ghoul just to maybe hurt him. <laughs> Things he can't read you. Oh, scatter the ball off the pitch. Yes, that's what he could have done. Then this one could have scored. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. so what he could have done was... You're quite correct, Tapioca King. What he could have done was, he could have double GFI'd, uh, pushed him to there on the first hit, second hit, powered him here. Ball could have been... I still don't know if it's possible. To, like, get to a space where he could have uh, scored. Like two, and then bounced to there. Yeah. And then the then ball. So you could have pushed him to here, then pushed him to here. Then the ball scatters out, gets thrown back in two to here, and then bounces to here. And then this guy goes one, two, three, four. G five G. I still think it's still out of range. I think it probably wasn't possible. Maybe it could have gone out that way, then back in this way. But then that still doesn't really work, does it? Could it have gone just off the pitch again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it could have done. So it could have gone. It could have been thrown out that way, then thrown back in this way, and then bounced to there. Or in fact, it could have gone here, landed, bounced out on that square, then got thrown back parallel, then hit this wolf, and then bounced to there, and then he could have got it. <laughs> so it is possible. Yeah, but I mean. <laughs> Probably not not worth worrying with a GFI for. Probably not worth GFIing your Rackler for, to be honest. The chance of it working was a lot less chance than your your Rackler getting killed on a pointless GFI. <laughs> so there you go. Really good effort by uh, that there Phil getting the win, and uh, yeah, not not uh, not quite. Getting it done for Danton. Good game. Well played by both. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.